So this is Adessa. Adessa is an additive oscillator that can go up to 2,560 different partials. So what a harmonic oscillator is, is that instead of having a harmonically rich waveform, we start with sine waves and we use additional kind of partials or additional sine waves to create more uh, waveforms. So we have um, this spectral tilt and this partials knob. Partials will limit the amount of harmonics that are available. So all the way up we now have the maximum amount of partials and spectral tilt will almost act like a low pass filter. So we can get kind of more regular shapes, so that's kind of something like a sawtooth I would say. And then we can go into much more kind of pulsy sort of territory. And then we have, we can still limit the amount of partials here. And you can hear how limiting the partials has a much more kind of different sound to this spectral tilt which will still give you a little bit but it will just weight them slightly differently change the weight of the partials across the frequency spectrum now we have this comb filtering section so this is um, a comb filter over the harmonic content so if we get something a bit more kind of fruity there and we use this this is the density of the comb filter and then we have the peaking so where in the frequency content that comb filter is going to happen and then a warping of that as well. So with modulating both of these, we can get really nice kind of comb filtering, flangey kind of phasey kind of effects. So over on the other side, we have tension and spread. Now tension will be easier to see on a spectrograph. So if we go to a spectrograph, we have um, this is. You can see our fundamental down at the bottom there, and then you can see how adjusting this spectral tilt will introduce more harmonics or less. And again, we could do that with the, just the amount of partials that we have until we're just at a single frequency. So tension will bunch up some of these frequencies. So if we get um, let's put it into a multiple voice mode because we're in a single voice here but we can change that to be a three voice so I've also got three uh, notes from a sequencer coming into the hell polyphony commander over here um, this allows us to control Odessa polyphonically so we have our three kind of fundamentals at the bottom there you can see um, and we can squeeze them up almost as we go down so we can get much more kind of strange in inharmonic kind of sounds using this tension control and the same with the spread so if you notice as I move this it's only the harmonics that are changing the, the three notes are still always constant at the bottom there three notes from this chord. Um, now spread will actually uh, detune these. So if we, you can see how it's detuning the harmonics but it's also detuning the original So bank and harmonic factor at the top here, they um, define the distribution of the odd and the even partials between the two odd and even outputs. Um, when the bank is set to zero, um, the weight is exactly the same. So that's kind of what you're hearing now. And then as I spread it apart, you can start to hear how we get a lot more width because I've got the odd and even output panned hard left and hard right. Now the harmonic factor gives you like a scaled kind of integer um, factor. So that gives you simple fractions of, uh, of the partials, as you can hear. 
So anyway, that's a bit of an overview of the front panel. Um, we'll now just kind of go through a few patches and hear kind of some of these sounds in context, I guess. So let's have a look at this patch. We've got this FM kind of bass sound. And that's an external oscillator that's tracking the same pitch coming into this linear FM input. But before it comes in, it's also going through a VCA. So it's giving you that kind of burst of FM. You can hear it does clip slightly at points. And you can hear I've got these even and odd harmonics panned hard left and hard right. The fundamental is dead down the center. Now we're in single voice mode. If we switch that to so I've got a chord <coughs> sequence that's coming into these four voices and the single voice is that kind of bass line patch, this, this one. And then as we go to multiple voices, so now five voices, we start to hear those chords. Add a bit of delay. So let's have a look at this patch. We've got this droning kind of bass thing. These two outputs are coming straight to the output left and right. And we've got a simple three note pattern coming into the pitch here. And then we've got some envelopes and LFO that's mixed into this partial here. If I adjust the depth of those, you can hear that. So that's more LFO. And then more envelope. Now the rest is coming from bank and harmonic factor um, modulation. That's what's giving you this movement around the stereo field. Introduce a bit of that comb filter there. We can get some really nice kind of things going on. If we take out this modulation on the partial and I just turn that up, you can hear. You can give more idea of what the bank and the harmonic factor are doing. And then also then the, the comb filter. So we've got a little bit of LFO modulation on this warp input here. And these are just two simple eight step sequences coming into harmonic factor and bank layer. And we 
we're in single voice mode we can change this to have multiple voices add a bit of detune on the spread here you can hear that you lose a bit of the kind of weight in the low end there that's why having this fundamental as a separate output is really useful because you can just mix that back in and you get all that kind of low end weight there Add a bit of reverb and delay. So Odessa can do a fairly convincing kind of re-space. Um, let's just start that off. Um, and I'll just mute the drums so that you can hear exactly what's going on. So we've got um, Modulation on tension, this is a negative modulation, so it's gonna, when it does that, that's it, an envelope kind of pulling it back down to give it that kind of pitch bend. Bit of modulation on the density, on the warp again. Just give me a bit of that comb kind of flangey, phasey kind of stuff going on. And then really that's about it just uh, multiple voice mode pitch coming into the pitch upper octave and then the fundamental is also backing up these uh, two and there's loads of weight there we want to get a bit of spread but because we've still got that fundamental in the middle So Odessa, what do I think of it? I like it. I think it's interesting sounding. Um, it's definitely a lot different to a lot of other oscillators out there. If you want something that's quite unique and a little bit weird, then I think um, you could you couldn't go wrong with some with Odessa. Build quality is fantastic. Chaos Devices stuff is always really well made. I think, um, and I think. It's definitely more a kind of different sounding than something like a complex oscillator. Um, if you're looking for a kind of big fat analog, this is not that. Um, I read on the five minutes with video, someone said that it sounds like a load of bit crush sine waves. Um, at points, it can sound kind of harsh and digital, but I don't know necessarily if that's a, something to be balked at. I think it. it I've really enjoyed all the sounds that I've been getting out of it, basically. But I think overall, it's very rounded. Um, there's loads of low end, low end in it, and I think you can really push it in um, lots of different directions. So I think it's quite flexible. There's lots of sweet spots, and I think finding those sweet spots, or the sweet spots that you think are sweet, is very uh, fun process so yeah it's 399 i've seen it for around yeah 399 up to 439 pounds uk pounds um which is obviously you know that's quite pricey but if you're thinking of it in comparison to something like a complex oscillator they can go up to kind of 600 pounds so and you do get a lot of oscillator for your money 
it does need a fair amount of kind of help to get it going so if you want to get the most out of the polyphony you need the expander and also you need some way of sequencing five notes so you know you do need a lot of modulation to get it kind of moving and um, get exciting things out of it but I think when you do find those sweet spots as I said you're really in unique kind of territory so yeah that was Odessa thanks for watching (laughs) 